Okay, this is going to be an unboxing and test of the Track Power TK950 soldering station. Um, I've been doing RC since the 90s and have never invested in a good soldering station. And probably my, the reason why I dislike soldering so much is because I've just been using poor quality tools my whole life. The soldering iron that I currently own is this Weller 25 watt, just a little stick soldering iron. They're fine for the emergencies when you have to solder something, but the tip cools off so quickly on these that um, just it, it's a bad time. Every time that you try and do something with a big wire or a lot of solder, it makes a mess. So I've got this new TK950. It's a 60 watt with precise um, wattage control. Books, stickers, the iron itself which has the big wide tip on it right now. Uses this type of a connector. Here's the tip that I will be using primarily. Okay, so that's good. I gotta figure out how to change that. Base unit, which is unpowered. And here's the power supply. All right, I'm going to get all this equipment here set up and um, I'll come back to you when it's all ready to test. Changing the tip is a toolless design where uh, you just slip off this bottom piece and then the top wick comes off or the top soldering pad and then it's, I don't know what this is made out of, probably a ceramic or something that can take high, high, high heat. Swap over into your new skinny tip Put the base back on and screw it down. Totally toolless. I just want to show you the ridiculous amount of stickers that it comes with. So all of these are all stickers that um, you can, if you want, put on your uh, your power station and on your on your iron holder and all that stuff. I see no reason to to get that tacky. Um, the most important one that you want, which is your gauge for temperature. They give you one, but it already came with it. So I don't know why you get two. I thought maybe one was Celsius, one was Fahrenheit, but they're both Fahrenheit. So that's in Fahrenheit. Eight, it goes up to 896. And same with this one, goes up to 896. I wasn't sure what exactly this was for. It came with one Allen key. And then the instructions, that is so that you can lock your temperature knob at a set temp. And then it will always be running at that temperature. So the the anything to do with the iron itself for changing and cleaning and maintaining, it's totally toolless, which I like. I'm going to turn it on now and start it preheating. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is remove some wires from this electronic speed control. So I have three, the A, B, and C wire for the motor. I'm going to unsolder those from these pads. First, I do need to tin the tip of the iron. So I'm going to let it heat up and then... Um, I'm just going to use the solder that I have. The solder station does not come with any solder and uh, the only reason I have this actually is because I have an old electronics kit with that old stick iron that I have. Yeah. I was able to get these three off. I had to change it to the bigger tip. Um, I didn't get it on camera but I was able to unsolder those three wires from the ESC pretty easily and now I'm going to um, I'm going to tin this one. Well, I can see that I'm still no better at this. I don't know if the solder sucks or if it's me. Okay, change plans. We're gonna try and solder onto the motor now. Might as well. The other, I just, I'm having no luck with the ESC. So let's try and ruin this perfectly good, nice brand new motor. 